Hi everybody, welcome to the Baguette Investor channel for a new weekly review. In this video, I'm going to chart the financial markets, going to review the trades I'm in and also present to you some trading opportunities I've seen. So we're going to start by right in front of you. If you're used to watching the video, you see my total profits are still in this ranging market that, cor that corresponds very well to this current state of the market. But you can see it's finally starting to trend up after four weeks of not doing much. Very interesting stuff happening right now on the market. So I hope I will be able to make some gains in the next month. That will be very appreciated. You can see that my crypto accounts did not move much. But the, the accounts that really did take a hit are my stock trading account. I made videos about that if you're interested. Anyway, we're going to go into the technical analysis. I'm not going to go into the global indexes because there is nothing there interesting to say. I'm going to go into directly sectors. Right now, I'm going to analyze only subsectors industry to show you that indexes don't really have much in terms of sectorial analysis. So we first start by uh, the oil and gas industry. I don't know if you've seen worldwide there is a global energy crisis with prices of oil, gas and all the commodities related to energy blowing up and that leads to the oil and gas stocks going up too and I'm trying to position myself on these stocks so I'm positioning myself on Europe. You can see here the European index which is currently at a resistance that you clearly identify and if we break above this resistance there's some very very good things that I think are going to happen for this market. What can happen that we can reject it here so in the case we get rejected I have my stop loss at neutral so if I get stopped I don't lose money risk management before everything. Also in the states you can see the energy sector is breaking out of this final resistance and support you can see that it goes back all the way here to december 15 so it's a very very important level if we break here it can get very very interesting if you go into subsectors you get even more value valuable information but we're going to go into the sequel of this video second thing is the uh, financial sector you can see that european banks are breaking out to new highs this is also due to the euro currency being uh, devalued. If you look at the chart in US dollar, you can see it has not broken out yet, but I think it will. Uh, we'll talk about the euro to dollars. Of course we will. And if you look at uh, the USA markets, if my computer wants to load, please, you get the same thing with um, the market that looks like it wants to trend up. So we have these sectors really looking interesting i'm repeating energy and finance take a look at this you're gonna see you're gonna find many 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 important um, very interesting opportunities you can see that the financial sector is looking very good and why is the financial sector going up because of the rates and inflation taking the interest rates up which people anticipate more profitability for um, financial businesses. We're talking about oil prices. You can see that oil prices smashed a resistance that goes all the way back from 18 and are heading to the 2014 prices from oil, which would make oil very, very, very expensive. You can believe you can you believe that back during COVID we were at $17 per barrel and now we're at 81. This is this has gone completely mad. It's absolutely crazy. And natural gas is also very, very bullish but currently stopped at a resistance that goes all, all the way back from 2009 2010 2013 and now 2021 if we break above this resistance on natural gas this is going to get very very dirty but for now it's not the case um i wanted to talk about euro because uh euro is a very important currency for me as you know i live in the eurozone i live in france we use the euro as a currency and the euro has gone up quite a lot since uh, the COVID <clears throat> period. It's gone down um, 6% since the COVID period. Right now, what I'm really thinking about is the breakout of this double top right there and the fact that the euro is getting weaker and weaker on m most other currencies are just getting stronger against the euro. So what I'm doing is I made a video about that. I am short 
euro. So I, I am entering short um, little by little on this area to make uh, a good position. I want to build a hundred thousand euros short position and I think I will be able to because for now the market is going into my favor. Uh, if I look at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin uh, broke above the previous high, which is a very good thing. But for now, I don't really know how to trade this because uh, I would not really know how to set my stop loss. I'm not really confident. I might take a long trade here, but I don't know. I'm not really confident into this kind of setup. I mostly prefer how old coins look because old coins look very good. I'm going to take a look at the total too. All coins look very nice as I'm seeing in all the videos. I'm waiting for a breakout of this beautiful cup and handle pattern right there. If we break above there, you're gonna hear me talk about it. Don't worry, I'm gonna scream it all over Twitter and YouTube. And this is going to be the moment where I will put most of my money. So we're gonna st we're gonna keep going with the trades I'm in. Uh, I'm gonna go for crypto. I only took one crypto trade. Uh, no, I actually I took two. I took one on EGLD, which is not working. I entered on the four breakout there and got out because the trade went away from where I wanted it to go. So failed trade on this one. And I took a trade here on one um, USD because we have the breakout of a very nice structure. I don't know if you see it. You have a cup and handle pattern, cup and handle pattern that has a breakout with volume. You can see the volume here on the handle. Very good sign for a bullish breakout. And now we're waiting for the trade to work. Of course, because this is a trade taken on the weekly time frame, I'm waiting for <clears throat> quite some time until it gets uh, invalidated or validated. I'm not gonna close this trade that I took on the weekly time frame on a four hour time chart. This doesn't make much sense. So I'm waiting. I think this is going to be a great trade. It doesn't matter if it loses. I'm risking only 0.5% of my capital on this. So there is not no big deal for me losing money. I still have this other configurations in mind, but the market looks very pushy because simply the index shows it it looks pushy because we are not in an impulsive market. The impulsion should come when we break above there. Right now we are not in an impulsion market, we are in a consolidation market. So that makes sense that all the trades you're going to take are not going to go up fast. They're going to go up very slowly and even sometimes they're going to go down and up and down. So there is nothing to, no, no, there's no need to be aggressive during these periods of time. Let's get to my other positions on stocks. So I'm in the uh, national company, the national oil company um, of the Netherlands. And I bought two times. I bought one time on the retest here. We're going to see on the daily. It won't be much more logical. going to remove that on the right. Let's go. Very good. So this I can remove up. There you go. I went in there on the retest right there and then I bought again here, which gave me an average price uh, around this area. Uh, very nice. I think I have a very nice position on this one. And I have the same position that looks a little better, but both stocks looks, look gorgeous. On the uh, French... No, I don't want to delete that. The French National Oil Company. I'm going to move that on the right so you can see that. So same thing, I entered for the first time here and second I entered here, which gives me an average price uh, of around there or here. I don't remember if I calculated my average price uh, right. I'm going to check that afterwards. I entered on other companies, financial companies. I entered on Société Générale, which is one of the national bank of France. That also looks quite nice. And I'm going to go into... The trades I'm holding, I'm holding trades that look very nice uh, on the oil and gas sector. You can see this is Targa Resources. This is uh, oil refining and marketing. This is a company in Texas. So Texas famous for its oil industry. You can see that the trend is already really strong, but there is so much room to go up, guys. So much room to go up. We can still go up to here. I don't know. It's very, very, very... Uh, 
hard we still have to smash this re resistance area over here but uh, it's going to be a good trade I think I'm going to show you also ALTM also a trade that has gone up quite nice Altus midstream company this is a oil and gas pipeline so th this is a pipeline stock um, I have another thing to show you this is CXO this is a lithium mine that I entered quite bad I, I must admit I was looking at this setup right there I sh was seeing this breakout with volume unfortunately the lithium sector did not go how I wanted it to go so I keep s I stay in this as long as we are above this uh, level of 0 0.36 and as soon as we close above I will exit the trade and take my loss right now you can see that it's starting to pick up if you look on the close only you can see that we are finding support here and we are trying to trend up again so maybe this is going to end up being a um, winning trade another one that that is trending down it's the laramide resources ltd this is a canadian stock uh, for uranium so i was trying to play on uranium unfortunately the impulsion is not coming i was hoping that i bought the retest here and that it went up like that it's not coming so same thing if it closes below this area right there with uh, strength I'm gonna remove this trade from my list and take my loss which is a very small loss because I'm not risking that much of money um, other thing I took last week weekly trade financials customer bank corp incorporation this is a bank that looks very good this is a regional bank market cap 1.5 million looks very nice strong momentum this is very very strong momentum very nice consolidation right there and now we're trending up starting to trend up again i'm playing this financials are in a trending sector if you want to look at the sectors i'm looking for we're going to go here into my sector list there you go i look at energy and financials this these are the index that i'm looking at also for next week well for this week now because i think the u.s market opened no it's not open yet it's going to open in what 40 minutes still have time to upload this before the market opens i think looking at financials uh this is a polish stock there you go this one is very interesting uh coastal financial corporation magnificent uh setup only thing you need to worry about is earnings in one day so uh, very very cautious about that I am uh, waiting for the earnings to drop before taking a trade and when the earnings will drop I will put a trigger buy above this resistance line so I will take be taken in the trade if the trade works there I have Western Alliance Bank Corporation regional bank 11 billion it's a US company located in Arizona it looks very good it's a nice momentum you can see that the trend is here for quite some time and that right now it's breaking to new highs very very good configuration I have LBC uh, Luther Berg Bank Corporation another financial this one I'm less sure I don't really know how to trade these setups I don't really have much faith in it so I'm, I'm looking at it I don't really know I know that stocks breaking to new all-time highs on the all-time high basis is very good but I don't know I'm I don't know if I will enter on it I'm still wondering and usually if you wonder if you should enter on something it's usually the time the, the sign you should not enter on something uh, very nice stocks on the Canadian stock exchange today they're on holidays it's Thanksgiving in Canada I read so I don't know if you are having Thanksgiving in Canada today if you are well uh, good holidays very nice uh, stocks those are all in oil and gas because if you don't know uh, Canada is a very big oil and gas producer so very nice stock hemisphere corporation uh, tidewater midstream this one I trying I will be trying to get the retest tomorrow uh, Bonterra energy and uh, secure energy services look at that magnificent configuration I think this can get very beautiful for trend following so that's it I'm also looking at cotton but I don't think you're very interested into cotton uh, yeah keep a look on oil and gas keep a look on financials and watch for this crypto breakout right there gonna show you one more time from me there is no point 
going into crypto before I see the breakout here. So I will see the breakout, I'll be very happy. This is basically the Ethereum USD chart, to be honest. You need to check on the Ethereum USD. If Ethereum breaks up above, I mean, I go in. I go in, risk 1% of my capital on this, and I think I'm going to be happy. Thank you for watching. Have a good trading week. Don't lose money. Manage your capital well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.